So in this video, I wanted to quickly show you the difference between taking normal levels of actions versus massive levels of action and why they both take the same amount of energy and why you should always go for massive and how that would actually look in your life in terms of results. So first of all, if we take a chart uh, that basically shows you the uh, results in your life, and this could be in any area, by the way, this could be in, um, in your fitness, in your health, in your relationships, in your business. And also we look at the time past. What you'll see is that, again, there's two types of taking action. There's people who take normal levels of action and their difference, uh, their uh, results look something like this. So at the beginning, there's, a, there's a, a, an increase. We know when you start anything, there's an increase in the amount of activity and then it reaches some sort of a, a regular level and then the results basically look like so. That's how most people act. And what happens with this kind of simple result is that with normal actions is that the moment something bad happens, the moment that you get fired, there's a market crash, uh, something happens to you, your family, anything bad happens, you immediately go from here to that, from this level to this level or this level, or even just crash because there was not a lot of uh, action sustaining this. So the moment something bad happens, which happens obviously to everybody in life occasionally, uh, this thing is very uh, vulnerable. It's very easy to make it uh, just disappear. But if you take massive action, the way your life looks is more like this. So you still have those ups and downs in your life, it's never <clears throat> just a straight line. There's always peaks and valleys. But if you see the difference here, the, the valleys, the, the bottoms are constantly higher. Each bottom is higher than the previous bottom and sometimes higher than the peak. So sometimes the new bottom is higher than your previous peak. So this is how you know you're actually taking massive action is if you take uh, a, a chart of whatever you're trying to improve, whether it be uh, your fitness, your relationship, your, your income. And again, you can measure everything. You can measure uh, your relationship by how many times did we talk today? How many times did we fight this week? Uh, how many times do you have really good experiences together? So you can actually measure everything and you want to measure everything because that's when you put that kind of attention on things, that's, how, that's when things actually happen, which is uh, another video completely, but this is why Every single source of income that I have, every income stream, even if it's a tiny, tiny drop of income, I have a chart that basically shows me on a monthly basis how much money every income stream generated because that puts my attention on them and that allows me to always expand them. So you see, there's, this is massive action. Now, how do you actually make this happen versus this? It's actually not very complicated. The only difference between this and this is that in here, you take just enough action to sustain the current level, because obviously if you stop, you're just gonna crash over time. If you stop taking action to your work, you're gonna get fired. If you stop taking action towards your marriage, you're gonna get a divorce. Um, but you just take enough to sustain yourself through the ups and downs without actually increasing the amount, which again, is a disaster long-term. But if you're taking enough actions to get things a bit better, like if you're a salesperson, you make enough just to enough actions just to generate enough sales so that they keep you there. Or if you have a marriage and you take just enough actions to make sure that it's okay uh, and, and your wife doesn't leave you, that means that you know how to get it to this level. So you know at least of a few actions that actually produce a result. Again, if you're a salesperson, even if you suck, you know at least a couple of, of good things that enable you to, to not suck that bad that they keep you there. Same with your marriage, same with your health. If you're not in a horrible health, there are things that you're doing well. You're just not doing enough of them. So the only idea, the only difference between regular action and massive action is the idea of 10x actions. So you just take whatever actions that got you here, that basically get you to these tiny peaks, and you multiply these actions that get you on these up cycles, you multiply them by 10, and then the cycles are, are, instead of just this and then here, the cycles are 
go down and then whoosh and then go up and then go down and whoosh go up. Basically, you're, you have much stronger cycles towards the up cycle and then the down cycle, which happens naturally anyway, it doesn't affect you as bad. So the only real difference is take the actions that are actually working for you, write down what am I doing that is actually working and just do 10 times more of that. So if you're a salesperson and some of your calls are good, just write down which type of call is good, which type of approach is good, what am I doing that's actually working and just do 10 times more. Do 10 times more calls, 10 times more emails, more messages, whatever you do that works, multiply it by 10 and you're not gonna see a 10 times increase in your results, but you're gonna see like, a, let's say like a four times increase in your results and that four times increase is what creates that big uh, upward cycle that just accelerates, by the way. It's not like a, a straight line. It looks more like this. It's actually exponential because the rate of growth is always growing because now you're leveraging. Because at some point here, maybe here, maybe here, maybe here, you've basically run out of time to invest because you've already uh, taken so much action that there's no more time in your day to take action, which means you're gonna have to start leveraging, either taking better actions or leveraging your time by hiring people to do that for you. And this is what 10X is gonna do for you. It's gonna help you leverage everything and multiply everything that you wanna have in your life. This is why I'm such a big proponent of the 10X rule. This is why I've read it more than 10 times and will continue reading it uh, for probably many more years to come. And this is why I highly recommend that you follow Grant Cardone. So if this video helped you, let me know in the comments. If you have any question about this amazing concept, let me know. And please subscribe if you haven't and check out my book at the bottom for just $9.99 about my life and the crazy successes and failures that I went through and what I learned from them. What I learned from them. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.